All right, guys, Ham Solo here, Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. It is field day 2023, and I am in the eastern half of Colorado Springs. And this time, I am with the Pikes Peak Radio Amateur Association uh, looking at their setup for field day. Uh, right behind me, uh, right against the highway, uh, there's an antenna set up here and not sure uh, what they got going on there I see uh, looks like a link some type of link dipole of some sort uh, off in the distance there is a hex beam antenna that's right over right over my shoulder right there uh, there's a uh, looks like a beam on top of that trailer and then uh, another big uh, aerial antenna in the back so uh, let me go walk up and uh, and get a look see at what uh, what they have going on here all right was just in this trailer with uh, Derek k0 ATV he is running off of this antenna, uh, the one with the uh, matching box up there, the dipole that's being fed by a window line or ladder line. And uh, he is running, uh, or gonna be running FT8 uh, on uh, 15 meters. And so he's at the 21 uh, megahertz. He's got a bandpass filter, uh, which I took a couple pictures of and so I kind of superimpose him here so you can see He's got a bandpass filter for 15 meters, and he'll be running FT8 off of that big antenna. And I'm actually standing underneath the Buddy Hex. And so I think they're using that on the single sideband station that's over there just in front of the trailer there. You can see him. And so they've got several antennas set up here. And uh, they've got some uh, scouts over there in the tent that are getting a class on uh, amateur radio and uh, they just came in and we gave them a, a little talk of things inside the trailer so that's pretty cool so we got uh, some uh, scouts on the air or you know just get on the air people go to I guess they're getting points probably for that and so kind of a nice setup uh, seems like there's you know multiple bands on this uh, fan type dipole and uh, I see a lot of them are guy lines and so, for sure, it's got the 15 meter on it. And then the hex is going to be multi-band. And then I'll have to check out whatever that antenna is over there. So, kind of neat setup. So, overall, it looked like a pretty nice setup. Again, this is the buddy hex they had up set next to the trailer. They have their field day uh, instruction guides in uh, binded notebooks. There's some people that set up uh, their tents and, and uh, camper trailers. And so they were ready to go uh, all 24 hours. And so I went inside this trailer that was using the uh, Buddy Hex and tried to see his uh, his radio setup. Uh, they're running off of uh, battery power and solar panels. And so several radios set up along the way. And I'd say they have probably three operating positions at least. We saw the FT8 one, this one, and then the, the one outside. Bandpass filters, the... Uh, Pikes Peak Radio Amateur Association had bought uh, bandpass filters for all bands. And so we had a 40, a 20, this one's 10. And then we had the 15-meter uh, bandpass filter that, that uh, K0 ATV was using. Pikes Peak Radio Amateur uh, uh, Association also had the uh, El Paso County uh, trailer for emergency management come out. However, it's more than just the emergency management trailer. It's also the special communications unit, so it's got the radios on board. This they called uh, crutch tilla or something to that effect, and so it's the actual antenna made out of crutches. All right, what a difference I think uh, 3,000 feet of elevation make. <laughs> so I'm now up here in the uh, uh, kind of west side, I guess, of Park County, uh, right near Lake George, and so... Lake George is right there. And this is the Mountain Amateur Radio Club uh, field day. And so you can see here we got one of the trailers set up. Uh, that is 
Mike K0TER, and he runs CW out of that trailer. Then we have our uh, shelter tent set up. And then there is another trailer. Let's see if I can get in in the background. And this trailer is owned by the property owner, Dean. There you go. And he sets up his other radio in that trailer. And right above him, there's a big dipole that uh, stretches across the canyon there. And he runs uh, our single sideband radio pretty much out of that trailer there. And so I've done uh, activation or operation off of that trailer before. And uh, we got the uh, CW, you can barely hear it in the background. There's a lot of stuff going on. I just showed up and uh, we've got uh, one of the search and rescue teams is out. Uh, on uh, Pikes Peak doing a, a search. There's also a wildland fire uh, that is going on uh, east, or I'm sorry, more west of where we're at. And uh, that started, uh, I think, sometime last night. And so we've got uh, helicopters that are coming in and they're actually doing uh, aerial uh, drops of water uh, from the helicopters. And they're coming over here to, to uh, uh, Lake George and they're filling up. And so we'll see if we can get one of those uh, recorded as uh, part of the video. But uh, this is the Mountain Amateur Radio Club's field day site. And uh, we are going to check out what is happening here. All right, got a wildland fire up here where we're doing a field day. They got a Bambi bucket underneath the helicopter just dipped there in uh, Lake George. And they're heading back over to where the fire is with that uh, Bambi bucket full of water. All right, I didn't notice this uh, video didn't have any, have any audio behind it, but basically this is Mike's uh, inside of his trailer where he's doing uh, CW or Morse code. Uh, he is K0TER, and he usually racks up, uh, you know, usually 100 contacts or more just doing CW here in his, in his uh, trailer. And so this is his setup uh, for that. November X-ray zero golf. Yes, sir. I am two Alpha Charlie Oscar. Two Alpha Charlie Oscar. November X-ray zero golf. Roger, Roger, and I am two Alpha Charlie Oscar. Thank you. Two one zero. Radio Charlie. Right, Norway six to Japan. Whiskey QRZ. November X Ray Zero Golf. November X Ray Zero Delta. I believe one Echo Orange. Yeah, correction. November X Ray Zero Golf. November X Ray Zero Golf. Got it. One Echo Orange. I got your one Echo Orange. I'm two Alpha Charlie Oscar. Ham Solo's upset that there's sausages. 
All right, so that's the end of the uh, field day video. Uh, went out the next morning and uh, finished off doing some uh, contacts. I think I got another uh, 15 or 20 contacts the next morning. Uh, kind of hitting both coasts. I got Florida, I got California. A lot of uh, New England stuff that you saw in the video. Uh, we tore down all the tents and uh, put away all the uh, all the other little uh, parts and stuff that we out had out from our trailer. And so now I'm kind of heading back to the house. Uh, I have to uh, leave tomorrow, go to Missouri. And uh, I've been to Missouri before, already got a summit and a park there. And so I think what I will be doing is a uh, review on the uh, TID radio uh, H8 that they uh, gave me to uh, check out. It is a uh, ham radio HT uh, runs I think 10 watts and it does have an internal uh, uh, Bluetooth uh, programmer like the separate one that I had that I did the reviews on. This is internal to the radio and so I'm going to be checking that out uh, while I'm in Missouri for the week uh, before I get back out on the road to do uh, more activations uh, some places that I haven't been uh, before or right after July 4th I guess and so this is kind of the end of the of the field day radio appreciate y'all watching you got to see the two different uh, site setups and uh, you know we made contacts uh, like we made contacts and so we're not in it to uh, you know try to win a plaque we just like everybody to get out and come out and check it out and see if they can get on the air and and those kind of things and so you know, uh, you know, if we don't win any category or anything like that, you know, we still had fun and it was all a good time. So appreciate you watching. This is Ham Solo, K0FYR, 73.